Welcome to another edition of the JV Sports Show. James Spooby alongside my co-host Vince Delicio. Another exciting Thursday night football game, Vince. You and Derek Deesner did a game out at Dobson High School, Casa Grande, and the Mustangs of Dobson. Well, yes, we did. And uh, and it was very nostalgic. Uh, Dobson, near and dear to my heart. The Mustangs, 87 state champs. Coach Bill Gotzel trying to build something there. And uh, and unfortunately, Casa Grande was too much. Uh, The number one team in 4A, James, they win 49-0. Coach Jake Barrow, we saw them earlier in the season uh, during our Thursday Night Football Game of the Week. Those guys still rolling. Angel Flores, R.J. Keaton, among other players over there, just dominant Cougar players all over the field. Yes, sir. And let's take a look at some scores being Friday night. Let's run through those. Let's roll them. Starting off in the 6A, Valley Vista against Boulder Creek. Boulder Creek getting the win 41-14. Mesa was at Skyline. Mesa defeating Skyline 41-13. In the 5A, Sunny Slope over the Goldwater Bulldogs 24-12. Gilbert Tigers over the Maricopa Rams 13-7. Looking at the 4A division, Tempe Buffaloes on the road at Buckeye. Buckeye gets the win 42-26. Up in Flagstaff, Coconino defeats Flagstaff 28-7. Looking at the 3A division, Arizona College Prep all over Coronado 56-7. Santan Foothills over Eastmark, 35-15. In the 2A division, Miami over Globe, 43-14. Scottsdale Christian, the Eagles over Scottsdale Prep, 49-7. Into the eight-man division, 1A, Tempe Prep falls to Baghdad, 62-20. And Williams over St. David, 38-20. Another exciting Friday night of Arizona high school football action events. Coming up this week on the Thursday Night Football Game of the Week, it'll be Buckeye at Yonker. Can't wait. 100th anniversary of the town. It's going to be a lot of fun. Big rivalry. Great community. Two schools that are within about a mile and a half of each other, separated by some farmland and some homes. It's going to be a lot of fun, James. It's going to be a battle. We're going to take a look right now at some time we spent with Buckeye and Yonker. Hey, guys. We are here with uh, Yonker Rough Rider head football coach Tony Clough. Uh, coach, this is your – first of all, how you doing, Coach? Uh, pretty good <laughs> considering, you know, the circumstances. I think everybody in the Valley is kind of, you know, a little – weary of things yeah well this is this is year number four for you number five overall you spent your first season as an assistant now you've been the head guy here four years coach what's different about this team you got a good group of kids out here um, I think the senior leadership that I have is, is the difference I got a real real good group of seniors and then I got a bunch of good young guys so. we are here with Raul Caldera the outside linebacker one of the outside linebackers for the Yonker Rough Riders Raul how are you doing today Good. How about yourself? We're doing okay. We were talking a little bit off camera. The season not quite going the way you guys had hoped, but you guys are improving on a day-to-day basis. Talk about what you guys are doing every day to get better as a team. Um, we're well, we're moving step by step. You know, like it's progress. You know, um, we're fixing mistakes. We got to do what we can do where we're at now. You know, but like as our team, we got to move, develop, and get you know get it from get better from there. You know. All right. So you play defense. You face this offense every day. How's the offense doing? Uh, well, it's pro- it's progress. You know, we're going step by step. We're defense. We're trying to make your offense look better, but at the same time, we got play our defense. Got play hard so our offense can get better. Cause these teams that we're playing, they're not quite easy teams. But you know, we, we're gonna get work from there. You know. Hey guys. All right. So we are here with defensive end and offensive tackle Emmanuel Flores of this Yonker Rough, rough Rider team. Emmanuel, how you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? Sir? All right. Thank you for asking. Now. I got to ask you uh, about this team. So you guys haven't had quite the season you've wanted so far, uh, but you got a big game coming up this week, Thursday night game of the week against your crosstown rivals, the Buckeye Hawks. What are you expecting in that game? Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I, just, I expect a good game. I expect intense. Every year that I've been here on varsity that we play Buckeye, it's always a dog fight in the end. It's head-to-head dog fight, and it's, I know it's a lot of talking every year, but... I just, in the end, all I can ask for is a good game. Uh, in a bigger school like you play in here at Yonker, you, sometimes you have the option to play in offense or defense. Tell me why you chose to play defense. Uh, defense, I like I like hitting. I like to make that hit that could change the momentum of a game, that can get your team hyped and have everyone riding with you. That's, that's why I love defense. All right, man. What's your move? Is it is it the swim? Is it What is it? Is it the, what do they call it? The, the rip? The slip? Yeah, what do you got? What do you got? Is Buckeye going to see this? Oh, of course they are. No, nobody watches our show. What? What is it? What's your move? 
First, I'm gonna fake inside. Okay. Let's do fake inside. Fake inside. Okay. All right. Put okay. your hands up. Put your hands up. Okay. I'm clubbing right off you. Okay. Ooh, the club move. All right. Oh, that's cool. All right. Emmanuel Flores, defensive end, extraordinaire, Yonker Rough Riders. Emmanuel, thank you. Good luck. This All right, guys. We are here with one of the genuine good guys in the business, who's actually a pretty darn good football coach, Kelly Moore. Coach Moore, how you doing, sir? <laughs> I'm doing great, thank you. It, that smells a little bit, though. <laughs> Uh, that, well, we're out in the Fort West Valley, Coach. Uh, so. Amen, brother. <laughs> coach, so this is your seventh year here. We were talking a little bit off camera. You talked to me about the facilities. We looked around these massive, beautiful right. facilities. Tell us a little bit more about this school. Oh, man, this, this school will be here. This is our hundredth year that uh, we've been in existence. Uh, the people in the communities, it's, it's a typical. Um, we got a guy in town here, last name Yonker. Okay. Oh. Last name Yonker. Different one, but last name Yonker. Cafe 2535, and uh, the wings are not on their menu, but to the winner, he cooks the wings. It's pretty special. It's a secret kitchen, then, is what it is, Coach. It, it, it is really secret, and it has some secret sauce. Let me tell you, it's going to burn you. No, we do. We'll, we'll come up. We'll figure it out. We'll come up with something. But, Coach, we are so excited for this opportunity to be out here in Buckeye this week. It's going to be so much fun. All eyes are going to be on this game, this Thursday night game of the week. Buckeye hosting Yonker, 100th anniversary of the town. We'll be here. You should be here too. Coach Moore, thank you again. Thank you, guys. appreciate what you're doing. It's huge being able to get, get live. The kids are so excited. It's ridiculous. It'll be a lot of fun. All right. Hey, guys. So James and I are here in Olsen Stadium in Buckeye, Arizona for the 100th anniversary of the founding of the town of Buckeye. Big, big game this week. Crosstown rival Yonker. We are joined by none other than wide receiver defensive back Timothy Krosky. Tim, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm great. So tell us about the season. How have things been going for you guys? Uh, we've been all right. Our 2-2 two two is our record, so it's been a pretty smooth record. Uh, it's been tough at practice, but we're getting through it. You know, the whole situation was COVID, but we're getting through it. We're doing our best. Talk about that rivalry and how much that game means to you. It means a lot to us. We always look forward to this game, you know, having lost in a long time. So it's going to be pretty fun, pretty exciting. Wonderful. All right, Tim, we're real excited for you. We can't wait to, to broadcast this game this week right here, Buckeye Olsen Stadium against Yonker. We'll see you in a couple nights. Hey, guys, all right, so we are here with a real historian in this program, wide receiver, <laughs> defensive back, Buckeye Hawks, Cameron Bales. Cameron, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Awesome. So... Coach had you come over and talk to us because you got a little bit of history here. What year did your family settle in this area? It's it's been about I mean 150 years around there. Probably 1887, I'd say. Around there. Well, what can you tell us about about is your family like are they still in farming? Do they own the town? What what <laughs> tell us? So yeah, uh, my family they actually are in farming. We own Bell's Hay, and then on um, the school elementary school Bell's Elementary, I was named after my family too. You must have had, obviously, some relatives that had played Buckeye uh, football here before. How important it is for you to carry on that tradition with your family? Oh, it's really important. Um, I mean, we're a hardworking family, and football's hardworking, so it's really important just to carry it on for the whole family. Who inspires you? Who, who, who is it that motivates you to, to get out here? This is your senior year now, but who got you into sports, into football, into being active? Uh, definitely my dad. My dad, he's just, I mean, he's a hard worker, and he's always pushed me to do what I want to do. And it's football. I love football. So. Did your dad play here as well? No, he didn't. No, um, he's actually probably the only Bells that moved to California, and he, he played up there. Uh, what are your goals this year? Um, well, I mean, I want to go to the playoffs. I want to go to the playoffs with our team and have a good run in there. I mean, senior year. So 100th year, I wanted to do it. Obviously, your senior year, how important would it be for you to go out in style and get this win over the Crosstown rival? It'd be so. I mean, it's probably number one on my list right now to do in this regular season so outstanding thank you for your time Cameron we appreciate it and uh, we look forward to the game on Thursday night against uh, the Yonker Rough Riders thank you sir thank you wow that was great James now coming back after the break I had a chance to visit with a couple of schools during our high school blitz segment this week it's the Camelback Spartans and the North Canyon Rattlers. That's going to be great. Stay tuned after the break. We'll be right back here on the JV Sports Show. Don't go anywhere. About a good friend of mine named Bob Jenkins. Bob is a Marine Corps veteran. Bob and his younger brother DJ own Vets Built Contracting. For five years, they've been hiring and putting veterans to work. Vets Built is licensed, bonded, and insured, both residential and commercial, specializing in renovations, remodeling, new build, casitas, safe rooms, or small commercial TI work. If you're a skilled veteran looking for work, a homeowner in need of work, or a commercial business needing TI work, please call 
call Bob or DJ at Vetsville at 480-584-3675. At Angel Dentistry, our focus is to provide the highest quality and comprehensive family and cosmetic dentistry care. From checkups and cleanings to advanced issues like gum disease and implants, Angel Dentistry will provide an array of dental services to meet all of your family's needs. With extensive experience in using the latest dental techniques and state-of-the-art technology, visit us online at angeldentistry.net for more information or call to schedule your appointment today. Welcome back to the JV Sports Show. It's time for that high school blitz, Vince. You got a chance to get out and catch up with the Camelback Spartans and the North Canyon Rattlers. Had a lot of fun. Let's head out to it. Hey, guys. All right. So I am here at my uh, my alums, Camelback High School in Phoenix. I'm here with uh, head football coach Brandon McNutt. Coach McNutt, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's beautiful weather and uh, it's practice. It's game week. Awesome. So nice. Well, well spoken, Coach. I, I don't know if uh, Dr. Zach Munoz, the uh, district AD, is watching, but if he were, I'd ask him for a raise for you. All right, Coach. <laughs> another thing. So you guys are one and zero so far. You played. Uh, you played uh, Carl Hayden last week. Yeah. You beat them forty-one thirty-eight. Yeah. You you got a pretty special quarterback. Talk a little bit about him and the rest of your team. Yeah. No. Uh, we're we're young. You know. Uh, this was actually supposed to be a huge year for us. So we're just glad to be getting out there. So Joe Martinez came up. Uh, he was on our JV squad. Uh, he had a great game. Um, Dejon Packard, Zay West, and our, our big boys Caleb and uh, Emilio Burnell came through. And defensively, uh, we're, we're got a great secondary. A little young at linebackers, but uh, uh, just a great game all around. Kids just fight hard. Coach, expectations at uh, Brandon McNutt 2.0. How's that going? Oh, man, I'll tell you what. It, it, there's nothing but going up from here uh got like i said uh everything that phoenix union is doing um supporting their coaches uh giving us the facilities we need i mean there's nothing but uh sunny skies for us talk quickly about your staff obviously you can't do this alone uh give us some props to your staff who who would you like to uh, give a little shout out to oh man i'll tell you what all of them uh we got 13 guys that have committed themselves so i mean from my office coordinator uh, yeah. You forgot his name, didn't you? For a second there. <laughs> yeah, he's he must really be working hard for you. Who else, Coach, do you remember? Do you remember anybody else? Yeah, let's try defensive coordinator. Let's try the offensive coordinator. It's okay. Nick Ferrara. Oh, wow. Okay. And then uh, Sean Free, uh, Greenway is our new DC. Um, we're actually two platooning it here, so that's why we need all these coaches. So. Hey, guys. All right, so I am here with return specialist, wide receiver for the Camelback Spartans, Dejon Packard. How you doing, Dejon? I ain't doing good. How are you doing? I'm go- doing great. Not bad being back in my home school. You know, I graduated from here a long time ago. They say that you never come back. I've been back a lot, so I'm happy to be back, and someday you'll be back too. Right. So uh, you guys have a, a new field that's going in. Uh, how is this going to improve your play? you think it's going to make you a little faster? You're already pretty fast. Can you get any faster? I mean, we can see. We okay. can see. Oh, okay. All right. So it, being a return specialist, you're returning kickoffs all day, every day for touchdowns. What are you averaging per return? Do you know? I don't. I would say like... 94 yards. Everybody. 94 yards of return. Wow, that's that's pretty impressive. Okay. Uh, all right, Dejan, uh, talk a little bit about the strength of your team besides the wide receiver position and the re- and the uh, return specialist spot. What else do you like about this team? Our defense. They read their keys really good. Our corners, they sit on their zones. They read perfectly fine so they can do their job, which we can make plays. Our defense is really outstanding. Right. Our offense is well. Like we're really we're a really good team. Like, how's the coaching? Coaching is outstanding. You like uh, Coach uh, McNutt? Definitely. He he provides and do his best, the best of his ability. Nice, uh, Dejan. Anybody at home you wish to give a shout out to? Uh, shout out to my mom. <laughs> good man. Anybody else? My sister and my niece. Okay. All right, Dejan Packard. Wise words from the uh, legendary, legend to be wide receiver, return specialist. And very humble man, Dejan Packard. All right, Dejan, good luck. Go Spartans. Appreciate it. Go Spartans. This All is right. real. This guy is not standing on stilts. This is Caleb Crawley. He's a uh, an offensive and defensive lineman here for the Camelback Spartans. Caleb, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I feel like a little kid at the fair right now looking up at you. So Caleb is a Spartan, and he's a, another in a long line of great 
uh, players coming out of Camelback High School, great players to be. He's going to be, you're a senior this year, right? Yes, sir, I am, unfortunately. Okay, you've been, how many years you've been playing varsity, like six? Uh, <laughs> no, nah, this is my third year playing. Oh, okay. What do you like about Camelback High? Well, I like about Camelback High is because like, everybody's family, so you know everybody unites together. Just uh, We just need to change the mentality here, and there'll be like a top division school like Chandler. Okay, so speaking of top division schools, so you've been talking to some schools. Are, are, are schools showing up at the games, like colleges, to uh, to see you and maybe measure your feet? How big are your feet? Uh, my feet is size 18. It's really hard to find. You get really lucky at loss in Nike. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It'd be nice if, uh, if somebody were to donate a pair of shoes to you. Those uh, look pretty run down there, uh, kind of like the Hulk, you know, when the Hulk kind of grows and his feet <laughs> expanded. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, so Caleb, congratulations. I know that you got a lot going on at the school. You got a new field coming in. You got coaches that care about you. You got teammates that you care about that care about you. So uh, anybody you want to say hello to at home? Uh, yeah, I just want to say hello to my mom, to my parents, you know. Uh, shout out to my sister. She's far away at college. Uh, shout out to my trainer, uh, Jaron Green. He's been working me hard so I can slim down, look all beautiful, all that stuff. So we can, I need to go to Jaron Green. Yeah, he's doing, Yeah, trust me. He be, he's working great. He works out a lot of people. Okay, all right, great. Well, Caleb, congratulations, and uh, look for big number 77. 77, yes, sir. All right, good luck. All right, here with another Camelback Spartan, Caden Ballard. Caden, how you doing? I'm really good. How are you? I'm great. So, Caden, you play defensive end, outside linebacker. You move around the defense. You're a force on this defense. You're a senior this year. Talk about the last four years of your experience here at Camelback. What's it been like with this coaching staff, with these guys you, you've come up uh, through the ranks with? Especially last year and um, this year, there was a big jump in motivation and just not giving up on the team, on your players, on your brothers. It was very good. Do you know the school fight song? No. Come on, four years? I was here for three years. Onward, onward, Camelback. Lettuce. <laughs> oh, no. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Come on, man, I had to learn the school fight song. I graduated from I here like you. Before the end of the season. Okay, so you'll, if I come back, you'll, you'll sing it for me. Yes, sir. I will. Listen to that. All right, Caden Ballard, uh, a regular true and blue Spartan. Uh, congratulations and good luck this season. We look forward to seeing you again so you can sing that school fight song. Yes, sir. Hey guys, okay, so as, as part of our segment on the High School Blitz, I'm in the North Valley, about 20th Street in Union Hills, at North Canyon High School, site of the Rattlers. This is an amazing facility, and I'm joined by second-year head coach Adam Bean. Coach Bean, how you doing? Doing great today. All right, Coach, so you, you are tasked with building something here uh, on this amazing facility, and, and I don't know if you, you probably know this, but... Uh, North Canyon has been the site of many postseason championship games because of these facilities. How's the team building process come along? Oh, we're definitely getting there. Um, in terms of, you know, from year one to year two, the consistency of the guys is is, is really up. Um, you know, they're showing up, they're working hard, they're doing the right things. And, the, you know, we had the pandemic going on. It was challenging for a lot of people, but our numbers actually went up in the pandemic. And I think that's a testament to these guys kind of growing together as a family more as a unit and, and getting really excited for the things to come. Hey guys, all right, so joined by wide receiver, defensive back extraordinaire from North Canyon High School, the Rattlers, Izzy Durgan. Izzy, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, you know. It's a good day to play some football. That's right, it is great to play some football. I saw you out there making some incredible catches. What, what's it been like, you know, here at North Canyon, on this field, being a part of this team? Uh, it's good, it's real good, you know, it's like we're a family out there and we're just playing for one another. Um, looking at your schedule, I know things got obviously got jumbled for you guys. It got jumbled for everybody this year. But what's the schedule been like? I, I know right now you're not exactly where you want to be in terms of the wins and loss column, but you guys have been playing hard week in and week out. Some of the teams you're facing, what's that been about? Uh, it's been kind of rough. You know, we got our ups and downs, but um, the next two games we're ready to take them. We can't really do anything about the past games, but, you know, we're looking forward to Friday. What do you like playing better, offense or defense? Um, they're both, both, um, I like both of them, but I like defense. Defense is fun. You a senior this year? No, I'm a junior. You're a junior? Wow, junior. So a whole nother year of Izzy Durgan. All right, Izzy, good luck the rest of the season. Right. Hey, guys, okay, so I am joined by Rafe and Caleb Wilkins from this North Canyon Rattler football team. Uh, Rafe, how you doing? Good. Rafe, what year are you? I'm a junior. You're a junior, and Caleb, you're a senior? Yes, sir. All right, uh, you guys are brothers, obviously. Yep, definitely. 
All right. Uh, from what I hear in talking to your coach, now, Caleb, you play quarterback. Rafe, you're a lineman. You play uh, O-line, right? O-line and D-line. Yeah, you guys also play defense. And my point being is that you're, like, leading – like all universe in tackles, like number in the top five in the state. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, close, right? Yep. All right. So what do you prefer, playing offense or defense? Uh, definitely offense. What about you? Defense. Who's better out of the two of you, you or you? Probably him. Really? You? I was expecting you to say it was you because you're the quarterback, you know, kind of the cocky guy, you know, no, but he's better, huh? Yeah. Oh, you'd agree? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So these guys play for North Canyon. You guys have a young team, uh, a lot of fire, a lot of desire. You got a young head coach, uh, and that, that's a combination for some good stuff going on. And uh, and it's been kind of an up-and-down season, obviously, but um, you guys have come together as a team this year. Yep. Uh, what, uh, what can you say about your team, uh, offensively, defensively? You talk about the offense, you talk about the D. Go. Uh, definitely offense this year. Uh, we've progressed a lot. Um, than what we've been in since I've been here. Um, definitely, we're a team that hasn't given up offense or defense. And offense, no matter what, we just drive down the field um, and put up as many points as we can. Awesome. Defense. We never stop until that last whistle of the game. Love it. Nice. Okay, so Rafe, Caleb Wilkins, North Canyon Rattlers. Look forward to it, guys. Have a great rest of the season. Yes, sir. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. <laughs> Vince, great job out there with those Rattlers and Camelback Spartans, your alma mater. Yeah, it was it was a great time. And we'd like to, to pay special tribute. You know, the Phoenix Union High School District canceled football the rest of the season, not knowing when we were out there at Camelback that that was going to happen. So we wanted to run that interview to pay tribute to those seniors from Camelback. And uh, we wish you all the best. Coach Brandon McNutt out there as well. Just at Black Mountain, an iconic Carefree Sundial is Historic Spanish Village, one of the most picturesque and historic landmarks in Arizona, featuring beautiful artistry, amazing restaurants, and the friendliest people. Home of the world-famous Keeler Steakhouse, Pizza Cata, the Black Mountain Coffee Shop, as well as studios featuring local and world-renowned artistry. Just one mile north of the boulders on Scottsdale Road to Tom Darlington, in the heart of downtown Carefree, Historic Spanish Village. James here to tell you about T. TBA, Training Better Athletes. Founded by renowned offensive line coach Ron Sowers, their philosophy is based upon training and building well-rounded athletes and young men. They are the go-to training program for talented offensive and defensive linemen seeking to excel in middle and high school programs and preparing to excel at the next level. Coach Sowers continues to prepare student athletes for their collegiate careers at schools such as Notre Dame, Arizona State, and Oregon State, just to name a few. Contact TBA today at 602-435-9064 or visit their website at trainingbetterathletes.com. You You can't can't cheat the grind. Welcome back to the JV Sports Show. So we had a chance tonight to visit with Coach Mike Fell from Mountain View. His team fell tonight to the Bash of Bears. It was a close game, uh, but they're 6-1 heading into a game next week. A big game against Corona. Here's our time with Coach Mike Fell. We are visiting here with head coach Mike Fell of the Mountain View Toros. Coach Fell, how are you doing this evening? Obviously, you guys had a tough defeat tonight against the Basha Bears, but uh, talk to us a little about you guys were on a roll before tonight's game, undefeated, and uh, competing for the region championship tonight. Yeah, you know, we've been playing well, and, uh, you know, we knew it was going to be a big test. We knew Basha was good. So it was one of those games that, you know, we prepared well. And I thought our kids were ready to play. Um, Bashan just did a nice job with that, you know. And we, we're still in the hunt here going into week eight. Coach Bell, we wish you nothing but continued success. Good luck next week against the Corona Del Sol Aztecs. And uh, obviously we'll be following you guys' progress throughout the playoffs. Thanks again for joining us tonight, and we really appreciate your time. Yeah, hey, I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Coach. Yep. Boy, Milwaukee Tasse and those Mountain View Toros on the rise out there in the East Valley events. When we come back from the break, we'll wrap up this edition of the JV Sports Show and look ahead to the final edition of the show next week. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's a movement company two years ago with their customers' clothing styles in mind. They designed for you. Their goal is to clothe the world. It's high-end clothing at affordable prices. Check out and follow this cool streetwear clothing company on Twitter at Stessa Movement and Instagram at Stessa Co. I wear Stessa gear in our broadcasts. It looks and feels great. Sponsoring the Stessa JV Sports Show Player of the Week Award and proud partners of the JV Sports Show. Stessa Movement. For an affordable and dependable pool service company that provides excellent weekly pool maintenance, then call Pool Daddy. 
Pool Daddy has been providing weekly pool service and equipment repairs for residential and commercial properties since 2006. We strive to be the premier pool maintenance company, giving personal attention to each of our customers' unique needs and requirements. Call our office at 602-380-4584 or email pooldaddyaz at gmail.com to request your free weekly pool service evaluation. Pool Daddy! Welcome back to the JV Sports Show. So, James, next week we're going to be doing something a little bit different because we're, we're not going to have a Thursday night game of the week. We're going to do something special. Yeah, it's going to be a high school blitz uh, sort of, and yes. we're going to go on the Valley. We're going to catch up with some playoff-bound teams, check in with the number one team in each division, hopefully, and uh, we'll have some great interviews for you next week, preview some of those playoff teams, and uh, look ahead to some of those playoff matchups as well.